Hi guys again, welcome to uh, the CCI lab with uh, Eve and G. Uh, today we are going to show you how uh, borderless security will be uh, connected to the lab. So uh, basically we do have uh, two routers uh, that are connected with the ISP. Uh, we are using BGP 300 over here. Uh, 10 30 0, 0, 16 is the internal uh, IP range and 30.30.0.0/24, which is the public IP range. Uh, so let's go from uh, this side to this side. So we do have uh, access switches over here, which is uh, VLAN 70 for this Docker 21 and uh, VLAN 80 for the switch uh, 40. Uh, let's check over here what's inside this one. So show VLAN brief. Uh, we can see it's we have two uh, VLANs over here. Show interface trunk. We can see that uh, the ports is, is 00 and 01. They are both uh, trunk and it has a 70 and 80, which are these two uh, ports going to the core switches. So basically, this is uh, the configuration of uh, the <clears throat> access switch we can check for example show run interface t02 which is the access switch that's con configured <coughs> in this way uh, then we can check the <coughs> sorry a bit sick we can check the docker over here so it's a, a linux machine we can go to uh, application system tools and then uh, made a uh, terminal and you go for if config and in if config it will show you the IP address uh, that we are uh, using which is 10.30.70.100 uh, and that's mean we should be able to ping our gateway which is <coughs> .1 which is working <coughs> we will come back to this again same thing we have it here for the uh, PC uh, so there's no here so show IP address where it will show the IP address of the PC and uh, in case that you you don't have IP address over here let me show you how you <coughs> let me show you over here how you do uh, assign an IP address. So basically, you say IP then 10.30.8 in this case because of the VLAN. Then dot hundred slash twenty four is the subnet. Then you put the gateway. So 10.30.80.1, which is our gateway. You will check for duplicate IP address and then uh, it will give you the, the result show IP is the IP address uh, it will show you all the information that's mean we can ping now uh, this one because it goes this way to the core switch and then come back to, to docker 21 which is ping 10.30.70.100 and it's pingable and you can check uh, trace as well 10.30.70 no dot 80 yeah that's 70 sorry 100 and it goes to 80.2 and then goes to 100 which is uh, 80.2 is uh, this one and then goes like this directly so uh, layer 2 and layer 3 is uh, working fine over here um, then we move to the core switch. In the core switch, we have uh, show IP interface brief. These are the IP addresses. So E00, which is this one, it's connected to the R9. Uh, and then E01, which is this one, connected to the R10. And then we have the Lubak address. And then we have VLAN 70 and 80. And that's basically the, our HSRP. So show standby brief. Let's show you VLAN 70 and 80. 
uh, with a priority and then you have the standby IP address which is the other core switch and then we have the virtual IP address so this is basically uh, the configuration of this uh, and then we do have an OSPF with the uh, R9 and R10 uh, show run section OSPF and you can see over here this is the router ID IP and then uh, all the subnets that we are, need to have um, to exchange our routes uh, if we go show IP uh, route and then we can see that we are getting uh, the default route basically we are coming from here which we will get it from on the top as well and you can see uh, he's getting this with uh, two different routes because we have R9 and R10 so it's fully redundancy uh, then we have the dot 70 and 80 he's getting also from two different places so he's getting directly and he's getting from here so uh, the lab is designed with a full redundancy between uh, every component. So this is the core switch. Uh, then we do the same thing for the R9. And as you see, R9 has a two VRFs, uh, VRF uh, 9 and 11, which is 9 is the internet and 11 is the borderless security. So the BS. Let's... Uh, Double check that, show run VRF, and let's expand this a little bit. And you can see over here we have the VRF BS. Again, BS is dot one I'm using always, 300 is the same BGP, and nine is the router IP. That's my method to differentiate with the RD. Then uh, here we have a lot of uh, internal uh, route leaks uh, that I'm using for the internet. Uh, we'll, if you need any help about this, uh, I will explain it. Then we do have here uh, the interface uh, 011, which is going to the BS, which is the uh, MPLS basically. Then we have the BGP 300 and it's connected with the, with the eBGP with this. Uh, then we have the VRF for internal uh, for the internet and then it's the same story over here. And uh, we have the 09 which is the internet and we have the BGP for that one as well. Uh, have a look. Uh, let me show you the route. So IP <coughs> route. So basically, we are getting the default route uh, from uh, this IP address range, uh, which is the the, the gateway. Uh, we have here dot one and here dot two. So uh, thirty 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 dot two is basically uh, R five. And then we ha we are receiving all the routes uh, for BGP for uh, we are 70, 80. These are our routes. Uh, so it's coming to OSPF, then OSPF goes to into AI, uh, into BGP, and then BGP you can see it in the routing table. Uh, here for the OSPF, you get three zero, which is uh, the internal ranges. And then we have here the BGP that we are receiving from other sites, which is all the public ranges, uh, 100, uh, 40, 30, all these things. And then uh, the 200, this is also a range on the uh, internet. As you see over here, this is the public ranges that we are receiving from the R20. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So this is basically about uh, R9, and then we do the same thing for R10, uh, and uh, <clears throat> this is, let's say, uh, most of the information about uh, borderless security. Uh, later on, we will have uh, another video at the end uh, to show all the connectivity end to end, and then I will give you. Uh, in, in one video, all the tasks that uh, I think it's it's good to do it or troubleshoot it.
thank you.